Hey, how's it going? So, um, Gavin Taylor uh, had asked a question uh, in the group last night about uh, creating a or setting up a custom domain for a phone sites funnel, and I'm just going to walk through a video showing that really quick. I, I'm, I know that there's a video out there somewhere else in the group, um, but uh, anyways, just trying to help someone out here. All right, so I created this uh, this fake funnel here just um, to create this little video, and I'll probably reuse this. Uh, this subdomain later on for other videos to try to help out with the group. In fact, I have another video I'm going to show um, for the group later to try to show an integration between Zapier to create a, a webhook from a phone site's uh, site to Google Sheets. That way, um, if, uh, if you wanted data to show up in a Google Sheets file, it would be there. Um, someone else in the group had asked for that last night, so I'll be doing that later too. All right, so uh, I'm in my config screen here for this phone site's funnel. Um, and I'm going to be setting up the custom domain. Notice when I load the page, there's there's no uh, direction here prompting me to create an error a sorry create an a record. Um, I will be doing that once I put in my custom domain down here. Then that's when I'll get that little prompt telling me what to do. So uh, let's go ahead and do that really quickly. Um, Now, notice when I'm typing this out, it's giving me this little error message. It's looking to see if I'm typing out what seems to be a legitimate uh, or a valid um, domain. Uh, it's not actually seeing if I own this domain or if this domain, domain actually exists in the world. It's just looking to see, uh, have you created a domain, a custom domain that has a properly qualified um, top level domain? By top level domain, I mean the, the com and like .com or like .co, uh, it's like a newer top level domain. There's also like .ca for Canadian companies, uh, .uk for UK entities, United Kingdom, um, .net, .biz, so forth. So that's a top level domain. The example in example.com or the Google and google.com, that's a, a domain. And then uh, what you have immediately to the left of like google.com or phonesites.com would be the subdomain. So, uh, Phone sites, those folks, they they own that domain. Phone sites, you are just uh, renting this subdomain off of their domain, basically. All right, so enough of that. So uh, I put in my domain here. I just want to point out really quick that I did not put in www. Do not do that. Get rid of that. I also didn't put any capitalization. Get rid of that. Just keep it lowercase. Okay, got my domain in here, and I'm gonna. Copy my IP address that uh, phone sites told me to create this A record for. So I'm going to hop on over to my domain manager, which is at GoDaddy, uh, because they are uh, hosting my domain. They're not hosting my website, they're just hosting my domain. So I'm going to copy that IP address, go over to domain manager. I've already created this A record to point to that IP address, so 159.89.244.198. But, um, I will show you how to create it. Uh, the reason why I already created it is just because once you've created this A record, sometimes it takes a little bit of time for this to this record to propagate out on the internet uh, across the DNS servers. And um, for the sake of this video, I just wanted to go ahead and get that already done. That way, once I show you how to create this A record, we can go out to chrismacoy.co and see my funnel. So I'm gonna just scroll down here. I'm gonna go to the, the add uh, functionality, select A for A record. For host, this is important. You want to put in the, the at symbol and then points to that's going to be your IP address. And that's the one that I picked up off that phone site's uh, prompt there. And then keep this to one hour. So what TTL stands for is time to live. Um, this record is going to be updating across the DNS servers uh, every one hour. I could change it like every 12 hours. So one hour is fine. Um, if you're using some other domain host out there, uh, this is going to look a little differently in terms of your domain manager and then also like even the categories across the, 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 the page up here. Um, so you might need to seek out their, their uh, troubleshooting guides and so forth to figure that out. But then I would select save. I'm not going to do that because I already have that A record done. So I would select save and then I would just refresh the page and then I would see at the top generally uh, um, newly created A record. Come on. There we go. So there's my A record. And then now if I went out to chrismccoy.co, I would expect to see a funnel that matches my funnel that I created here. I'm just going to go back really quickly. So I want to open up my funnel and show you what it looks like with that 
uh, the phone sites user support videos dot phone sites dot com URL. So let's see. Okay, go to view. Okay. <clears throat> so when I go to chrismccoy.co, I expect to see a page that looks like this, except the URL is going to be chrismccoy.co. So let's do that. <clears throat> and I just created this. <coughs> Sorry. Created this funnel just really quickly. I'm not going to be using it for anything except for just creating little videos like this. So let's go to chrismccoy.co. So that's loading, and voila, there we go. So now my phone sites funnel is pointing to my custom domain. As simple as that. Um, if you run into like a 404 error, it's probably because maybe you, like if you shared your your link, be careful about this, when you share your link in like a Facebook ad or something like that or an email, if you put in www, you're probably going to run into this error. Okay, so this is actually going to take me back to ClickFunnels. You would probably see a phone sites 404 error. The reason why it's pointing to ClickFunnels and not phone sites is because uh, there's an old record out in DNS servers for ClickFunnels um, for my chrismccoy.co to be pointing back to ClickFunnels. And that's, the reason for that is because I've had this domain before, I'm not doing anything with it, and I had it pointed to ClickFunnels for setting up funnels there. Um, so that's why you're seeing that, but you would expect that. Uh, the phone sites 404 error. Um, another error, um, possibly if you forgot to put in like the the S in HTTPS. Let's see what happens here. here be able to get. Okay, so it was smart enough to redirect to the uh, the secure HTTP. Okay, all right. Hope that covers everything. Thanks.